So oh. um, our dear friend Nikki Haley seems to have had her very own <laughs> Elizabeth Warren moment. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, Nikki. Here we go. Let's listen. Oh, Nikki. We were the only Indian family in our small <laughs> southern I was teased every day for being no. brown. So <laughs> anyone that wants to question it can go back and look at what I've said on how hard it was to grow up in the deep south as a brown girl. Anybody can look uh, at my record and see oh. when Walter Scott was shot down by a dirty cop, how I made sure that the Walter Scott family didn't suffer because we put the first body camera bill in the country in place. Anybody can look at the fact They're not that buying it. Nine their died Mother Emanuel Church. I did something that no Republican or Democrat ever wanted to touch, which was call for the Confederate flag to come down because it would take two thirds of the House and Senate and was an impossible feat. I don't know what you're implying with that, but what I will tell you is saying that I had black friends is a source of pride. Saying that I had white <laughs> friends is a source of pride. Sure. If you want to know what it was like growing up, I was disqualified from a beauty pageant because I wasn't white or black. Oh, you come on. Didn't know where to put me. Yeah, how about that? So Thank look. You. How I did you work pretty, Nikki? Yeah. <laughs> the hardships, the pain that come with racism. It's the reason that I fight bullies every day when it comes to racism, anti-Semitism, oh, or hate. On. And I'm I not always buying this. will. If I didn't mention slavery on that day, it's because that's an automatic. There's always been the civil war's always. Wow, been so she's slavery. really got to make up for that fucking not not saying slavery on that clip. Who oh, every day for being brown, Anna? What do you make of this for Nikki? And also, like, where do you see her com campaign shaking out? How do you see this going? Forward? I mean, it's going to end inevitably. Like, she just sucks. But it's funny that watching the people who are on their side because it's like Joe Biden, I think, just came out with an ad where he was like, you know, I don't always agree with Nikki Haley on everything, but she is better than Trump, basically. So you see the people like that are, you know, backing her up. It's not even like Republicans or conservatives for that matter. Like, she's just awful as a candidate. And she always like I hate that this thing that a lot of conservatives do where it's like they'll try to prove to the left that they're not racist. It's like the correct response is to just not care that they're calling you like racist names. Like Trump handled, handled that really well. There are a few other candidates like Vivek actually handled that pretty well too. I think he did an interview with those two same two women. I don't know why those two women are always together, but it's like they make <laughs> hilarious memes. Like codependent. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen them before. But I saw them, they interviewed Vivek too, and it was like the same topic. It was all about race. And they look ridiculous because it's like the one like fat brown haired one with like the and the blonde who looks like she's just sitting there like, you know, like really serious trying to ask her like serious questions. But like, yeah, like the, the correct response to all of these accusations is just like, shut up. You're retarded. Like, I'm not going to answer your race questions because that's irrelevant. And nobody ever answers it that way. And I don't know why. Like the whole point of being conservative is that like you don't play by their rules, which are very much rooted in identity politics. Like. And also, like, it's just not a believable story. Like, Nikki, you're not, you weren't, I don't believe you were bullied for your race. And I also don't believe that you were disqualified from a uh, beauty, uh, whatever it was, be pageant. What is it? beauty pageant because you were Indian or whatever you are. Like, you, you're just ugly. Like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't pretty enough and she's making it about race. because No, she went with, go. I was disqualified from a beauty pageant in South Carolina. Oh, I was my bullied word. my whole life for being a brown girl. You're clearly not a brown girl, Nikki. She's like, your I'm name sorry, is Nikki. I slipped from my southern accent to my native tongue. Ooh! Oh, my God, I go again. Wait, is she feather or dot? I know she well, means like like Cherokee. No. Like a lot of I people. Think she like, was feather. I think she might be dot. Yeah. Feather, oh, no, I think, well, I think she meant the dog. In, in, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of Native American people look in it South up. Carolina, but like, cool. like my, my friend Elliot, like, he's like, I'm a quarter Cherokee, but like, he doesn't go, I don't put it on my college application or something like that. She's like, I was bullied every day. You don't know what I went through. I think of she course is they're feather. not going to again. We were the only Indian family. In our small southern the only town. Indian family. 
I was teased every day for being brown. <laughs> it's just like so, so anyone that wants to question it can go back and look at what I've said on how hard it was to grow up in the deep South as a brown girl. Anybody can look at my record and see when Walter Scott was shot down by a dirty cop, how I made sure that the Walter Scott family didn't suffer because oh, shoot, we put you're the first right. body camera. She's yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. If she, she, everybody it, in the chat is saying that. You, what? Hold She's got, but like you wouldn't, it, it doesn't have any bearing over her. Like, like I'm Hispanic, but like I've never once, no one's ever been like, yeah, we're going to have to disqualify you because you're like, it's just not realistic. What did She's she look not, like as a child? She's not, She's not, she was born Nimarada Nikki Randhawa. That's a mess. At Bamberg <laughs> County Hospital. And uh, she was immigrant Sikh parents from Punjab. Her father is Ajit Singh Randhwa, professor at Punjab Agricultural University. Her mom, a double Indian. Wow. Raj Kaur Randhwa. Wow. Okay. She's a double Indian. I had no idea. Law degree I'm shocked. From I had no idea. But I knew she was dark. Holy cow. <laughs> Literally. She probably doesn't need him. Haley is... Wow. Okay. Do She's we have pro. a picture of her, like, when she was trying to get into beauty pageants as a child? Or, like, uh, what what She's she looked like younger? I don't... Double nobody dot. Would know. She's a double dot Indian. Let's... <laughs> Nikki Haley. Beauty pageant. <laughs> or as a child. And also, nobody would ever stop you from being in a beauty pageant if you yeah. were... Indian. Mm -hmm. I thought no. she was just so stupid. She called Native Americans Indians. I just literally thought that. I had no idea. She does not look Indian. No, she, like, I was just looking at this one. You can't really see it, but she looks like every girl I went to high school with in the 80s. Yeah. She does. She looks like but she's from Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is quite, this is so interesting. I'm sorry. I said that, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're sorry. I can't find a single beauty pageant photo. Because she wasn't allowed because she's she was <laughs> Indian. <Wow. laughs> she was the See, only just, Indian in the South. I wow. Apparently. She's like, it was so hard for me growing up. I had to help everyone with their forgotten passwords. I had to do the IT for my whole town. Everywhere I went, they thought I was an IT guy. And I wasn't. I was there Everywhere to be I was there to enter the beauty pageant. They said me I had to say my thing. name. I had to say my name was Deb when it wasn't. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so funny. Uh, <laughs> that ain't right. Nikki Haley. I grew up in South Carolina for Christ's sake. I never knew in my life that Nikki Haley was was um uh of Indian uh You don't Carolina. have an accent at all. I'm with I was born in Chicago. We moved to uh South Carolina when I was one. So I grew I remember up. Remember the uh, opposite. I was born in North Carolina and I moved to Chicago. Okay, yeah. See, there you go. Like, you don't have an accent either. You don't sound like a Chicagoan or anything. But I think because I grew up with my parents, but you could pull it out. But she definitely has a Southern accent. I mean, Nikki oh, sure. Haley, you would think she was just like a... I highly doubt she was bullied for being of Indian descent. In my oh, life. yeah. No, I mean, percent. all of those... No, because she that's probably, like a the highest, she was probably... She's probably valedictorian. Right. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake. Nikki Haley was not teased every day. Her dad was a college professor. Uh, her mom owned her business and they had a very nice life. She was voted in a governor twice. Wow. Just, wow. You're not playing Elizabeth Warren card, are you? This is <laughs> Yes, Warren. everybody she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny video. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my god, I'm Irish. Do you know how many times I was called the brown girl or the Mexican girl down the street? I tan dark. You're not a victim. You only make yourself one with words. We need people who are proud of their European heritage, not people who whine about racial discrimination. Ooh, no. Shut the hell up with that race baiting shit. Neocon Nikki, no one's falling for it. Oh my god. Wow, no one is believing it. Identity politics isn't that a Democrat thing. Wait, she's brown? 
My grandmother used to warn me never to trust anyone who wears leather shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had I was distracted by that jacket for the first couple <laughs> seconds. Oh, that's funny. I need to follow Vincent Oshana. It's funny. I love finding people like that. And oh, just he's a comic. All right, I'll follow him too. <laughs> Oof. He's probably like, yeah, where did like, that? Why did Christy Meyer follow me? <laughs> who is Nick? Who is Nikki Haley's base? And and when is she going to drop out, or is she going to hang in there and hope that Trump just gets tied up in the courts and and can't run? It's literally all Democrats, from what I understand. Like, I've never heard a conservative be like, oh, I really like Nikki Haley. I genuinely haven't. Um, there were people, obviously, that like Nick, uh, Ron DeSantis, but not Nikki Haley. Ron, I get. Nikki, I think, I don't know. She came out of nowhere, in my opinion. But they're using her as a Trojan horse, I think. Because uh, she kind of looks like a horse. Or... Or... That's exactly what it is. For what? She kind of looks like a horse. <laughs> love you guys thank you for the chats thank you for the comments i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye all right love you guys oh, i don't even want to leave this candle smells so good i don't want to leave all right love you guys talk to you soon bye love you all join the discord feet love you all wow you guys are awesome love you, bye guys bye now i'm really leaving love you bye